After a successful first year, the IET expanded their Engineering Open House Day for 2016, giving 1,600 children and their parents the opportunity to go behind the scenes of 28 different venues and organisations around the UK. The aim? To demonstrate the creativity and excitement possible with a career in engineering. Louise Holland reports. Now, how often do you stop, look and appreciate all the amazing feats of engineering that surround us in everyday life? And how often do you talk about them with your kids? Well, thanks to the IET's Open Day, we can now connect to engineers of the past with the engineers of the future. In a bid to open young minds to the possibilities a career in engineering may bring, the IET has once again opened the doors of some very special places for the second Engineering Open House Day. It's a chance for parents and children to look behind the scenes at both some places that you might not expect that there's any engineering, so uh, things like the National Theatre, the Victoria and Albert Museum, uh, and some places where you, you might expect to see a bit of engineering, but you actually get to see some of the real details. And the parents and children really do get to see exactly what goes on and why engineers are so important in those venues. In London, one of the places eager to share its magic was the stunning venue of Tower Bridge. And it's not hard to see why, as this stunning creation is a perfect example of what great engineering can achieve. First opened in June 1894, it took eight years to build and is made of 14,000 tonnes of metal, 2 million rivets and 31 million bricks. So it's no wonder it's being used to inspire our next generation of engineers. Everything simply from a seesaw is an engineering principle as the opening side of the bridge is you know, reflected that, that's, that's on the seesaw principle if you like. Not everyone's going to be sat behind a desk doing office work. We do need to encourage younger people to take up engineering and study engineering um, to maintain you know, that tradition, a good strong English uh, or British tradition. In the afternoon we're going to get lots of snow. And it's not just Tower Bridge that signed up to the IET's Engineering Open House Day. Yay, West! <laughs> A whole host of venues were all too eager to open their doors, ranging from Sky to Shell, from the Victoria and Albert Museum to ITN. So thanks to the IET, families all over the UK have had the chance to experience the joy of engineering firsthand. I thought you had to like do coding and everything. I didn't think that the engineering would involve something to do with the train. It's made me want to like maybe have a future in engineering and go into it and discover it. The IET's Open Day may be a great deal of fun for the kids, but it's crucial for the future of the industry. We're not getting enough young people through taking the science subjects and going on to do engineering apprenticeships or engineering degrees. We certainly don't get enough women and young girls going through. And it's so important because we've got a shortage of engineers and that shortage is going to grow over the next five years. So we've got to take the opportunity to, to get more engineers through. And also, I think as parents, we, we kind of, our children might be missing out on something that's a really fantastic career unless we show them what, what they can do in that field. Giving young people and their families a chance to highlight the importance of engineering seems like a great idea. But how was it received? I just really had fun in the gallery, in the sound control room, like moving all of the buttons and everything. It was really fun. I think the best bit was when we started to make our like model of the vascule like, moving upwards. I like the fact that like you have to solve problems if something goes wrong. So with any luck, the IET's Engineering Open House Day has sparked a passion in our next generation of creators.